Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to the Shattered Relics League. We're on episode 5 of the series so far. If so, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, go and check them out. There'll be the uploads before this. And there's also a playlist linked in the description or the pinned comment that you can click on and uh, watch back from the start or even watch back from my plan video as well, going through kind of our approach to leagues and uh, what we're going to be focusing on. But anyway, here's how our stats are looking at the start of the day. Today, we're going to be focusing mainly on mining and also crafting as they are our two newest uh, skills that we've unlocked and uh, here how is how we're currently looking on points 1505 with seven sage renowned in the bank and uh, 105 tasks completed but yeah we've got a big old list of tasks to do to get done oh this dude is just gonna jump straight in front of my shot i'm gonna quickly step in front of him um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the league's content and I hope you guys are having a great leagues as well. Let me know down below in the comments how you're getting on, what your current tasks are, what things you're working towards and uh, what skills you have unlocked as well because it would be interesting to hear and any fragments that you think have been pretty cool that you've tried out that you've not seen in the series yet. But anyway, enjoy the video. Right, phase one of uh, Operation Crafting is spinning all of these balls of wool into a... Uh, oh, bits of wool into balls of wool so we can get to level 10 which then gives us um what they call bowstrings because then we can start doing using them for fletching which has a load of tasks attached to it and uh yeah we've um we're gonna have to rely on some rng as well which probably isn't the best thing when it comes to me because you know if you know me and you follow my content for a while you know that my rng is absolute shite so uh that's going to be fun because uh, <laughs> uh, we need to get an emerald ring and a ruby ami made. Um, but at the moment, we can't obviously make golden bars. So we're going to have to rely on getting that pirate um, random event to get our golden bars. I mean, we could go and do waterfall quest, but I really want to get the XP for attack and strength from that because it's going to be, you know, pretty fucking mental, um, those XP drops. So, um, yeah, for now, we're uh, kind of a bit stuck on gold. But there's a plenty of other tasks that we can get done in the meantime. I'll tell you what, for crafting, I've just done... Let's hold on. I can't remember how many it is. Let's have a look. See, hold on, hold on. Um, whack these in. 50. 50 molten glass. And that, my friends, got us to 25 crafting. So I'm going to blow these up now. I need to make 100 orbs. Is it 100? Yeah, 100 orbs. I've only got 50. I don't even know if I've got the level to make orbs yet, but uh, I guess we'll find out. All right, so unpowered orbs is 46. We'll get there in no time. Come on. What fish bowls can we do them? No, 42. What about vials? That's 33. What about oil lamps? Oh, we found it. Let's go. Right, I think this should be a task. Yeah. There we go, there we go, cut a sapphire, and uh, that's five more points and one more sage renown. Very nice. Right, there we go, there is another task, tan a cow hiding uh, alkarid, and uh, when we turn that into a leather body, that's going to be another task too. Right, if we do this on here, leather body. There we go, there is another task, five more points, decent. Right, there's another task, get stung by bees. Um, used a bucket on the uh, beehive, but we're going to pick some flax now and uh, string those bows that we've got in the bank. Right, if we string the willow one, this should be 25 points, I think. Yeah, there's 25. And then the oak short bow as well should be another five as well. Is it? It is. Look at that. 30 more points and two more tasks down. And we're up to 14 sage renown. Uh, just thinking if we should unlock anything. Nah, I think we'll save our points for now. So I'm currently uh, going for the 50 maple short bows. And where we've got this uh, <laughs> uh, this message in a bottle, Relicon, uh, sorry, Re Fragment, uh, we've <laughs> we already had five clues drop in like however many logs are in my inventory at the moment, which is absolutely wild. Right, we've got another Fragment. What's this one? Perflectional. Proflectional. Professional, whatever it is, then <laughs> XP for that. Right, there we go. There is Fletch 50 maple longbows in Kandarin. Another 25 points on the board. A very nice indeed. Whew, we are gaming. Right, can't believe we haven't done this yet, but if we pay the toll to go through the uh, gate, there we go. There's another task, five points. Right, so we've got three beginner caskets. Can we get a unique? No. No. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> oh, we do have this easy cast uh, clue, so hopefully we can do that. But um, these beginner clues are looking a little bit tragic, aren't they? Right, if we pick some wheat here, there should be another task. There we go. Five more points. Pick wheat in Catherby, as you do. Right, any uniques? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Why are these clues so shite? <laughs> All right, in the comments of episode three, uh, Jay said, if there's a chance uh, you get a fragment after every EXP drop, you should try spamming the Fally Wall or the GE uh, shortcut. So that's what we're doing. We're going to try and get, we're going to try and get Golden Brick Road. We're only going to do this for a little while just to see if we can get it. But um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can get the fragment this way. Right, if we jump down here, this should be another task completed. Yeah, there we go. There is complete the Alcarid agility course. Still no bloody Golden Brick Road uh, fragment, though. Where, where's, it, where's it at? Come on, cough up. Cough it up. Right, these last few arrow tips here is uh, 150 iron arrows fletched, which is another five points. Very nice. Right, there we go. There is burn 100 U logs, and that's another 50 points. Very nice indeed. And I think with that, I'm off up the pub because it's Friday night. So I'm uh, going to go and get a couple jars down me. <laughs> We're allowed breaks in gaming, I swear. I swear, I'm not shackled to my desk every day. <laughs> all right, good morning, gamers. Totally not hungover at all. No, 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 no. All right, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. We've got three three beginner caskets. Let's crack them open and see if we can get in a, a unique. Cabbages, law runes. Oh, my God. God, fucks. <laughs> oh, I think we can actually get to some of those chaos runes. I'm not sure how much you need for a blast spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we can get a task done. Right, if I cast this at this poor defenseless guard. Is that not a task? It's not a task! I swear it was. Hold on. I'm going to have a check. I swear that was a task doing a blast spell. Oh, it's been bloody death rune. All right, I'm going to buy a death rune. Hold on. Spending all my bloody money on runes. Oh, God. Sorry, God. Here we go again. Wujum. Yeah, there we go. There's 25 points. Very nice indeed. Oh, I can finally check another one off the list. <laughs> right, I'm just doing a bit of bank standing. We've got ourselves another fragment. Let's break it. E hey, pro tips. That's, um, that's the fletching one, isn't it? I can't remember what it does, but... Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad, leveling it up. Right, entering the crafting guild should be another one. Welcome to the Master Craftsman. Bam, 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 25 points. 1,700 league points now with 27 renown in the bank. Um, I tell you what, uh, sounding, it sounded like uh, what a pretty good strat might be is unlock range, level that up, then unlock hunter, and then start chinning. Um, because there's elite tasks for equipping, you know, a certain amounts of chins, so that could get some really easy points. Thanks, Maid, for saying about that in the clan chat, because uh, I think that might be the next thing that we're going to be doing. Um, can we afford it now? I don't know how much Hunter is. Hunter's 10, okay, and Range is 20. All right, let's... Uh, do we unlock Range first? Actually, also, how much is the Dorgashen? You want 24 points. Are you having a giggle? Are you actually having a giggle? Um, shit, okay, hold on. Do Because like, what I want to do is not have to do the quest for the bone crossbow. <laughs> I really can't be bothered. Uh, shit, I think we're just going to have to do the quest. It's not a very long one. It's not a very hard one, but uh, it's just effort, isn't it? Right, we're going to unlock... Um, we're going to unlock the... Uh, Range. We're going to unlock range. Let's get it done. Except. Here we go. Oh, yes. Another skill unlocked. Here we fucking go. Range has been acquired. Let's get it leveled up. So I'm training on um, goblins with the uh, uh, long range um, attack style on so we can get our defense up as well. Uh, because most of the uh, range kind of um, tasks are based around equipping, you know, armor sets and all that stuff. So, uh, we might as well get the defense level while we're at it. And also once we get, um, I think it's 10 defense, we can equip that, uh, black plate bully that we got. And that'll be another task ticked off. Oh, we're chaining them up and, uh, the hunter strat is it's going to be OP, man. We only need to get like 40 range. I think it is. I can't remember what it is for black chins. Um, I can have a look, actually. Hold on, I've got the wiki up. That's another thing. If you're not playing with a wiki open next year, are you even gaming? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about... Oh, 
bugger off, beekeeper. I don't know about you, but I find the um, kind of task list in built in the game a bit crap. So uh, it's easier to navigate around on the wiki. Um, and they keep changing it every day, keep updating it to make it even better and better. Uh, it does mean it clears your progress, so you have to go through and check everything. But uh, nah, it's worth it. We need to get 65 range. All right, 65 range. We've got a lot of level to get levels to get. I spy with my little eye an unidentified fragment for combat. All right, let's break it. What's this one? Um, Venomaster. What the hell is that? Let's have a look. All right, fragments. Show filters. Unlocked. There we go. Uh, Veno, 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 Veno. The hell is it? Oh, there it is. Apply poison and... Oh, okay. Poison immunity. Cool. That's yeah, not bad. Okay, there we go. We've got 20 range, 20, oh, 20 defense, 20 range, which means we can now go boom, boom. And there's another task. Equip a studded body and chaps. I can also now use my willow short bow as well. Uh, I've got a maple one here too because that's going to be another task when we hit level 30 range. Um, I'm farming um, goblins because I need a bloody chef hat so I can go into the cooking guild. Um, yeah, because that's another task. But uh, for now, we're going to farm a load of goblins. I went and stocked up from Horvik in... Uh, is it Horvik? Whoever the range dude is in Varrock and I bought like a thousand arrows. So uh, put a chunk of change into this. But uh, it's all going to be worth it. And is that a goblin mail I spy? It is. Oh, what a beautiful sight, a chef hat. Look at this absolute weapon. Weapon! Right, there we go. There is 30 range coming in, which means we can equip this maple shortbow and check off another task. Um, looking at the uh, requirements for... Um, I, th I think it's the Lost Tribe that you need to do. Oh, there we go. Thank fuck for that. That's our third goblin mail, what I was just about to say. Um... Yeah, we need to do Goblin Diplomacy and Room Mysteries. Room Mysteries is another task. We can get that checked off. Um, <laughs> I was trying to cheese it and have a look what uh, what uh, quests I could unlock and uh, not have to do either of them. But I think that's probably a waste. So, um, yeah, we need to go and do those quests so we can uh, go and do the quest to do the Bone Crossbow and, uh, yeah, get some, uh, get some more... Uh, task completed with equipping that crossbow like honestly this range and uh hunter strat is actually going to be massive um i'm going to unlock the fairy tale um quest line as well when i get the points uh because that is going to give us access to um was it xanis xanaris the uh you know the way i mean the fairy place uh, which gives us puro puro and there's so many tasks locked behind that as well so the tasks are just going to come flying in really really quick and uh, Hunter could be our next 99 because it doesn't look too bad to a 99 as well. Uh, same with Thieving. We probably should start doing Thieving as well. Um, I know some of the lads in the clan chat have uh, gone and steamed through Thieving and uh, <laughs> made quite a bit of money from Arnie Knights. So uh, we'll need to do that at some point because our cash stack is looking a little bit, little bit tired, a little bit low. You know, we've we've burnt through some... Burnt through some gillin' or pieces. Right, said Fred, if we open this door, go into the cooking guild. I don't know if that's 5 or 25. It's 25. Ooh, very nice. And that does give us 11 sage renown, which means... Which means... Hunter is getting unlocked. Video gaming. Okay, if I whack this black plate body on... There we go. That is another task. Equips in black armour. Um, I think I'm going to go and do the um, Natural History Museum quiz. Uh, I know I don't have Slayer unlocked, but I'm not really bothered because Slayer's going to be pretty all right to get XP, I reckon. So what we're going to do, go and do the uh, the quiz, get the Hunter levels from that because we've got it unlocked now, and that'll be another task in the bag. Right, I think that was the last one that I just did. So how's it going along? Done it, cool. Give me that XP. Whew, there we go, complete the Natural History Museum quiz. There's 25 Hunter on the board. Very nice indeed. And I've got three Sage Renowned in the kitty. And there we go. There is another task completed for killing the lesser demon in, uh, in, in what's it called? Wizard's Tower. Um, if that used so many bloody arrows. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's two tasks, two tasks. Kill a less demon and kill the less demon in uh, in the tower as well. Um, yeah, if you were trying to do this like day one, uh, there was a queue literally down the stairs to uh, do it. And uh, it's pretty wholesome seeing everyone queuing up like they're waiting, I don't know, to talk to a bank clerk. Uh, it was kind of funny, but um, yeah, we've got it done now. Decent. Okay, if I spam through all of this, this should be... There we go. Room mysteries completed. And there is five points earned. And if we teleport as well... That should be another task done. Yes, there we go. Visit the Rune Essence Mine. Video gaming. And I've put it so my fragments um, mean that I can use the portable waystone so I can just go... 
Whee! Right, there we go. There is goblin diplomacy completed. And there we go. Yeah, very nice. Which means we can now go and start the Lost Tribe, which uh, is going to get us that lovely crossbow. Right, I think that is the quest done. Yeah, there we go. There is the Lost Tribe complete. You got 25 points for that. We've got a bunch of mining XP, which is nice to see. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's everything. But anyway, right, we need to go back down into the caves and uh, get that crossbow. Right, this is the lad here. Let's buy that. And let's buy one, two, three. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a lot. Anyway, if we do this, there we go. There is another 25 points. Um, yeah, we bought a load of bloody... Um, ammo for it as well which we can uh, now rinse through and get some levels in right there we go there is the restless ghost completed did that because it should take off a few points on this when i go and when i can find it uh, 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 fairy oh we need two more anyway i'm gonna unlock fairy tale this one um because we need fairy rings so i'm gonna start unlocking these and we don't really need to unlock any skills at the moment Oh, I need to do it near a bloody hell. I need to do it near a sage. Um, anyway, let me. Uh, in that case, let me try and find a task to quickly do that will get us uh, twenty-five. Uh, will get us two renown because then we just unlock it all at the same time. But um, that's the plan, and uh, that will then unlock hunter as well because uh, we can start a uh, catching thing. I think is it. Uh, where are we, hunter? Um, implings. Yeah, we can start doing baby implings, which is another task as well. I told you this plan is gonna just rin just rinse through these tasks. It's gonna be sick. I just noticed that we got a gold bar from that quest, which means if we go here and we do, oh, I've got the wrong bloody mold. All right, take <laughs> take two on that. If we go here and we make an emerald ring, this is gonna be a twenty five pointer, a two renown points in the bag, which means we can go unlocks. Boom, boom, boom. Scroll down. Where are we? Fairy Tale 2. I need to do it a bloody... I need to, I need to do it at the Sage, don't I? I am a fucking idiot. Uh, where are we? Catherby. See, the perks of having this portable waystone, you know? We can just go right here. Go. A boom, boom, boom. Uh, fairy 2. Unlock. Happy days. There we go. Look, he's going to do the old thing. Whoa. Quest. Imagine questing, am I right? Right, now if we collect items from the sage, I'd like my items, please. We get the old Draymon staff and we get the magic secretaries. Um, and if we go back to Lumbridge, we can uh, do two tasks as well. Right, if we go through this door, this is going to take us to Xanaris, which will give us five points. Very nice, very nice. There we go. Oh, use, that was using a fairy ring as well. Fair enough. There we go. There's 30 points in the bag. Um, oh, we are flying. We are flying. Right, if we catch this baby implant as well. I, mean, I haven't got an imp the Bloody butterfly jar. Shit it. Right, is this baby implant going to come over here, please? I'm going to... I know I'm going to... <laughs> Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Come on. Come on. For fuck's sake. Come back. Come back. Get back here! Right, come here. Come here. There we go. There is catching a baby impling. And is that one for catching an impling in Puro Puro? No, just, just the baby impling one. But that's another five points and another sage renown. Okay, and I think that is going to do it for today's episode. So thank you everyone very much for watching. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing to uh, keep up to date with the uh, with the videos. We're going, we're going with a daily grind at the moment and uh, we're having a lot of fun with leagues here. Uh, drop a like as well. The comment of the day is, is scrambled relics. I want to see that in the comments section down below. And uh, if not, comment anything you like because... Uh, comments really help with pushing the pushing the video on the algorithm so let me know about what your current goals are on leagues what skills you've got unlocked what kind of direction you're going with do you agree with the range hunter uh kind of uh, not exploit but like uh, absolute mental plan uh to rinse through tasks we've got so many points on the horizon it's actually a joke um a lot of very easy tasks that they've put in like elite sections um like it just <laughs> equipping black chin jumpers which is going to get be really easy to get to especially 250 that's an elite task that's that's actually wild um and it's 250 500 1000 which is three easy elite tasks that we can just knock on the head real bloody quick and uh yeah 
we're uh, we're going to be cycling through these points. So here's how our stats are currently looking. Uh, next episode, we'll be looking to get our hunter up because we do need to get it to level 73 and we need to get to 65 ranged as well. Um, with a ranged, uh, where are we? I opened two tabs here, so I've got both range and <laughs> the range task and the uh, uh, hunter task up. Um, yeah, it's like equipping sets uh, of, of dragon hides. Um, I think with the green dragon hide we can knock that pretty early uh we'll just uh pay to unlock dragon slayer 2 uh dragon slayer 1 sorry once uh once we've got a few more tasks in the bag and we've got some more renowned because here is how our tasks looking we're on uh, 1895 league points with four renown in the bank um we're one uh 1105 points away from tier five which is pretty close once we start racking through all of these tasks because it's going to come in thick and fast Honestly, it, it really is going to. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys go. A massive shout out to all of you for all the support on the series so far. Um, I really can't thank you guys enough for uh, watching every day and showing your support and love in the uh, comments on Discord and also in the clan chat as well. Um, and also a big shout out to our channel members of Damo, Will, Steve, Superbeef, Maid and AJ. Thank you, lads, for the continued support through the membership program. Everyone over a tier one gets a shout out at the end of the video. So if that's something of interest, there is a join button next to the, next to the subscribed or subscribe button that you can click on. Get a load of information about that. Um, but yeah, come join the clan chat, come join the, join the Discord if I can get my words out and uh, come get involved. We're having a great discussion about how we're doing on leagues and uh, yeah, just general vibing, you know, we're straight up vibing. It's a, it's a good old time over there. But um, no, thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye. <laughs>